I think it's safe to say that a lot of us have had experience with gaming keyboards, they've always been a thing and probably will continue to be so, uh, but what even makes something a gaming keyboard? I guess we just have this idea in our head, this kind of aesthetic, exactly what we see on the box, but what we've recently seen is these big companies developing their own key switches to gain an edge over their competitors. HyperX are one of those who have been releasing relatively affordable gaming mechs and are very accessible, so today we check out the HyperX Alloy Origins Core Gaming Mechanical Keyboard. Even just unwrapping this, I was pleasantly surprised by just the feel in the hands. It has a solid heft to it, and that's because it's made of aluminium all round, so normally what you'd see is that the top is made from alu, but the bottom is plastic, so yeah, this is definitely something that is a little rare to see. And while we're here, it has some rubber feet and two stage flip up feet that are also nicely rubber tipped. So it has minimal flex, and it's not like crazy heavy or anything, but heavier than expected coming in at 840 grams. This is because it is made from aluminium as said, and has a floating key design, which means the switches are partially exposed as it has no top enclosure, and the mounting plate is up top, also referred to as a low profile design. Because of this, it looks quite slim. Uh, this has a bit of a curvy design to it, where it kind of tapers towards the edges to give it a slimmer look, just like you'd see on laptop designs. Uh, but yeah, overall, a clean and simple aesthetic. This isn't for everyone though, but RGB seems to be a big part of this board and it really shows. This is super bright on the desk. The backlighting looks vibrant, bright, colourful, but with the clear switch housings, floating key design and through hole LEDs rather than SMD, the lighting spills out everywhere, so if you're keen on that, then you're good to go. Looking at the keycaps, the font or typeface is pretty good. It's subjective of course, but it's relatively clean, uh, but these are made from about 1.1mm thick ABS and are laser etched. So not great, won't be the most durable over time. It does have a completely standard ANSI layout though, so you could easily replace these keycaps if you wanted to. That is great to see though, having a standard ANSI layout. This does also come in a full size variant with a numpad, but I highly recommend going with this 10 keyless or TKL version if you don't need the numpad. I still would really love to see smaller, more compact form factors be more common in these big brands. Over and over again, we'll see a keyboard released and there's a full sized and a TKL. And when you think about the term gaming and what makes a gaming keyboard a gaming keyboard, uh, what do these actually offer? For gaming, something like a 75% or 65% for example makes sense. Of course, different people and different games require different features, but if you really go into the different aspects of gaming, something smaller makes sense for mouse movements, ergonomics, portability, which is useful for LANs, and it just sets them apart from normal keyboards. But by far the most interesting feature of this board and is at the core of a gaming keyboard are the key switches. As said before, these big gaming slash PC companies are moving from the classic Cherry MX and developing their own switches. These are HyperX Red switches. Right now, there's just the Reds for linear and the Aquas for tactile, and both feature the same specs, so are relatively lightweight at 45 grams, which is common for gaming switches because in theory, a lighter switch is easier to press and is easier for repetitive actions, in theory. Remember, everyone is different. They have a total travel distance of 3.8mm, just a tiny bit shorter than the standard 4mm, and again a slightly shorter actuation distance of 1.8mm, so not as drastic as some other gaming switches that cut out more. But I like that it keeps that travel because that's what makes it feel so good. Also, 80 million keystroke lifespan is pretty cool.
specs seem pretty similar, but how do they feel? I really legitimately am quite impressed with how these feel. As always, the board itself has a huge impact on the feel and sound of the Switch, but these are quite smooth, quite a lot smoother than the typical Cherry MX linear, uh, then Gatoron, and a lot of other linears in stock form. This sometimes happens when they have fresh tooling and you get these early batches where everything is new and smooth, but yeah, pretty smooth in stock form, which is impressive. And it does provide a satisfying typing experience. The bottom mount feels pretty good, nice and solid, but a little hard, uh, which also gives it a nice sharpness, but it's dense and doesn't feel hollow or cheap. As expected, it's going to be pretty loud. Uh, there's no avoiding that. And the stabs are pretty good. Not perfect, but some of that sound can be blamed on the cheap keycaps. And yeah, it's the keycaps that kind of detract from the whole experience. Alright, so with the software, it uses the Ingenuity software. Straight up, I couldn't get it installed on my PC. It directs you to the Microsoft Store, and yeah, I couldn't get it to work, but it's, you know, it's keyboard software, you know, just the usual stuff. And yet, another thing I couldn't do, I seriously couldn't get this apart. Like, I've disassembled literally hundreds of keyboards, but once in a while you get some that are really tough. I've seen the full-sized one open, so I'll link that in the description, but nothing of note to be honest. And that's the HyperX Alloy Origins Core Mechanical Keyboard. A nice simple take on a gaming keyboard. Overall, it's simple. The look, design, it's clean and does its job. While I personally don't like the look of low-profile cases, this is clean and is all aluminium, so it's nice and solid. Definitely the main feature of this board for me are the HyperX key switches. This is basically what will set it apart from other gaming mechs, but it isn't drastically different from a standard Switch. The specs and feel are quite standard, but they are a little smoother than most other Switches in stock form. So, how can they set themselves more apart, and how can gaming keyboards evolve? I think Switch innovation is awesome, but introduce new layouts, try something different with the physical form of the keyboard, and I think people will be quite receptive to that.